Well, I'm off on a new adventure today. I'm heading down to Flamingo in Everglades National Park. Never been there in the boat. Only visited there one time by car. So, the plan is to head into Whitewater Bay and do some fishing. I'm by myself, a little apprehensive about it. Praying that I don't have any mechanical problems with the boat. But, uh, good Lord willing, it's going to be a fantastic day of fishing. The weather forecast was good. Keep my fingers crossed. Well, this was the first mishap. That was my lunch. I'd left it in a McDonald's bag on the front deck. Crow spotted it, ripped the bag open, and flew off with my McMuffin sandwich. Fortunately, I was able to use a tree to approach him and recover my sandwich unscathed. He knew exactly what to go for. Crisis averted. Well, here I am in Whitewater Bay, fishing the southeast side. Starting off with shrimp. We'll see how well that works. If there's any fish over here. Man, it's a beautiful area to fish. Kind of reminds me of uh, Port Charlotte Harbor area. If I can just find the fish in here, I'll be doing great. Fish on. First fish. Let's see if I've got a good hook and can keep them. What do we got here? What do we got? Looks like a snapper. Yep, little mangrove. Another snapper. Let's see here. Yep. So quiet over here. Fish on. Better fish. What have I got? Little baby. I had seen several huge schools of mullet, even tried casting for some of them earlier. I could hear them off in a distance. But now, they were getting closer. Definitely being chased. Calling one or Emmanuel in the vicinity of church. 
Cherokee Point. This is Coast Guard Sector Key West Oak. They must have had an emergency message for Juan because they were hailing him several times, Coast Guard was, on a VHF. I hope they were able to reach him. Well, I decided to switch tactics, go to an artificial, or back to an artificial. So I put on a 7-inch New Penny jerk shad, and instead of fishing the shoreline, I decided to fish a little bit further out, and see just what it was that might be chasing these mullet schools. How about that? Wow. Beautiful fish. Yes, sir. You're going home. These mullet were so nervous that when my bait would hit the water, they'd scatter. They were a little spread out. A lot of nervous water everywhere. It was really beautiful watching this show being put on by nature. sounds that accompany it. Very peaceful setting. Beautiful area.
Fishing. I'm going to dub over this section here because I originally misidentified this fish and I'm going to save myself some embarrassment. Oh man, I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, shoot. Oh, I still got him. And I'll do the same thing here. See if y'all can, uh, there he is. Got several little jumps, but they weren't on camera. So let me uh, set this back down. Get him released. That's right, I'd caught myself a ladyfish. That's a poor man's tarp. It's a snapper. Which way do you want to go? Well, after all this time, I realized it probably wasn't a snapper, although I didn't say anything in the video used to fishing by myself and I usually don't talk to myself when I'm fishing and this is a kind of a new experience for me talking so that y'all can hear me while I'm filming. Hey Jack Crevel. Well, he was released. He had really swallowed the bait. It took a little bit of time to get it out, so I'll save some video footage and just let you know that he was released safely. Yep. And 
you are welcome to come home with us. never did find out what those little fish were that had eaten the tail off my jerk bait. I tried several more attempts to try to hook one but didn't have any success. The wind was building a little bit and as you can see off in the distance now there was already a rain shower in the area way to the north. I had seen four or five boats heading back towards the channel that exits this bay. I was beginning to wonder if maybe they knew something that I didn't, particularly in light of the fact that this is the first time I'd ever fished here and I'm not familiar with the area. So after a few more last casts, I packed up and headed on back. There had been no mishaps, other than a crow that almost took my lunch. The motor started every time I turned the key. It ended up being a wonderful experience. Well, I'm wrapping up today, leaving Flamingo, heading back out. The area reminded me a lot of the uh, area over at Port Charlotte Harbor. Um, the shorelines that I was fishing was very similar to what they have over there. Bringing home a speckled trout and a couple of mangrove snappers. Other species caught today were Jack Crevel, which really surprised me, and a ladyfish, which really fooled me because at first I thought it was a tarpon. But it was a fun day. I will definitely be back again. Wishing everybody bent rods and tight lines.